Hello and welcome back to the Watch Gecko YouTube channel. So today I'm sat down with Damez, who's our usual camera guy. Yeah. Um, he's basically bought a new watch, so he's gonna he's gonna talk about what it is and why he bought it, why he likes it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically, time to unwind. Okay, so we'll get right into it then. So why yeah. don't you tell us what the watch is and a bit of why you bought it? Cool. So it's a Seiko Passage. So it's right. a JDM, inspired by Japanese culture, basically. And right. um, the watch face has Japanese Zen Gardens kind of details on it. Oh, that's cool. And it kind of just like encapsulates what like Japan. Yeah, I think um, obviously there, like the whole like, Zen garden stuff like that is very traditional. Yeah, and I've always been really passionate about the culture and history behind Japanese culture, really. Yeah, um, have you been? Yeah, uh, so it's, I've been three times. So I've recently right. gone this year, which is pretty cool. And I think just because of being around you guys and stuff like that, where you're really like, you know, you project obviously your enthusiasm for watches and stuff like that. It's kind of like projected yeah. on me a bit. Yeah. So being able to use two passions now. Yeah, to combine them. Yeah, yeah, in, essentially. Into, into yeah, into, yeah, to combine yeah, them into one. And this one kind of spoke to me a bit. Yeah. Um, especially on like that kind of level because it really it's really unique. Yeah. And I think, yeah, like I said, it just encapsulates like Japanese culture really. Yeah, I think Seiko are very good at doing <clears> that because obviously they are kind of the the biggest front in in Japanese watchmaking. Mm -hmm. they, they cover it all from, you know, really budget Seiko five models up to their Grand Seiko and, and incredible ranges where they're yeah. doing you know some of the best watchmaking in the world for, yeah. for their credo and they've worked with Philippe Dufour who's a um, he's an independent watchmaker okay. in Switzerland who's regarded as, as one of the, like, the masters the yeah. of, of watchmaking um, so yeah it's, it's, it's good to see that like they do so well and yeah. they also mix in their Japanese culture with yeah, everything really that they do you know <coughs> Japan's as you know is really focused around their culture so um, yeah the history and culture those they even though like they're very modern yeah. Really modernized like culture, they do hold all their like kind of the ideals history, and stuff yeah. like, and the history and stuff like that. I think it's really cool to see, especially this is like, quite a new a new watch. It was shown, yeah. was it in Basel World 2018? Yeah. Well, it's, it it's good to see as well that you know it's not necessarily a budget model, but mm. normally for, for bigger brands like the Swiss brands, yeah, they would reserve like the historical inspiration and interesting design for maybe their higher end, but this yeah. one was yeah, I did, pounds, I did, yeah, yeah, it was like it was, yeah, it was like 400 pounds, and that's including like. Cause obviously it's only available available in Japan, so that was including like all the, all the charges you'd get, yeah, like all the import charges, everything is like around four hundred and five pounds, something like that. Good um, value for money. Yeah, definitely. And I think if anyone who's like really, you know, interested in Japan and uh, like really passionate about it, and also like watches and stuff like that, this would be a great watch for them. Yeah, I think it'd be really good. It's value for money in the fact that you know, Seiko are producing their own movements in house, so to a degree you are getting an in house movement. Um, mm. And then a special design, you know, and it's it's, it's not a carbon copy of something else. It's, it's yeah. something very unique. Um, I, have, I have, because I was saying I haven't seen anything like it before. Yeah, exactly. Um, then there may be stuff like it, but I haven't really. I personally haven't seen it, and it seems quite unique. Yeah. Um, and like we, when we spoke before about like certain watch brands and stuff like that, they obviously have their history. They have their watch history. Yeah. But not necessarily their culture. And the fact yeah. that they're like yeah, it's quite rare for yeah for a brand, and I think it comes into the the kind of Japanese element where they're very embodied in their culture of yeah actually being able to translate like. Even if you just looked at the watch, you could probably tell, even necessarily without knowing the name or without knowing that Seiko was Japanese, that it was inspired a, by a, that. a cultural object. Yeah. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So it's yeah. really cool. Um, so yeah, we'll get into the unboxing then. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so we've now hopped on over to the um, the recording studio to unbox it all for you to see. Okay, so here it is. This is the Seiko Pressage from the new Zen Garden collection, featuring one of Seiko's in-house movements and as you can see there is the Zen Garden inspired detailing on the dial. So the dial is kind of cut between the um, 11 and a half and the six and a half marker. Okay so at nine is the open heart so you can see the balance wheel taken away. Balance wheel is in an, a nice gold color which contrasts to the, um, the balance bridge and then just above it at um, ten and a half hours there is a, a 24 hour marker which is got a really nice concentric circle. Got the gold plated rotor on the back, which kind of adds a nice little detail. Um, mixes in with the, the balance wheel as well. So the indices are actually chamfered on some of them, such as the, the batons that are at 11 and um, at six and at nine. And then all the other Roman numerals are curved. They um, reflect the light nicely from all the different directions. And then also the, the hour and the minutes hand are both curved in kind of width and length. So it gets higher towards the middle of the, of the hand, which allows for, again, a nice light effect and then a little kind of striking detail as you peer closer to the watch. And they're all plated in a kind of like a rhodium gray or a medium gray color, 
which offsets from the, the silver dial really quite nicely. And it means that they don't blend in too much with the, the open heart as well. So everything becomes quite distinct on the dial. And it means the open heart really takes into its own. So it is a sapphire crystal on the front and I believe a mineral crystal on the back. Comes in a nice Seiko calf leather kind of embossed croc strap, which is what you'd expect for the price. It is is nicely durable. And it looks really good and really matches the watch. And then it's on a Seiko deployment clasp. This is how the watch looks on my six and a half inch wrist. So it's, it's nicely balanced. Okay, so the diameter of this watch is just short of 42 millimeters. So it sits quite nicely on my six and a half inch wrist, which is kind of surprising as it's, it's bigger than what I'd usually go for. And considering it's a dress piece, the, the bezel is very thin. So it is pretty much all dial, but it doesn't wear actually too big, as you can see. Okay, so yeah, the, the watch is, is really nice. Obviously, as as you can see from the macro shots there, uh, just so much detail with it, within there, the dial. Yeah, a lot of detail, like, yeah. Especially considering the price point. Yeah, it's and, kind of crazy. The, the accessibility of the watch is something that's quite rare in the industry, really. Um, and that's something that Seiko kind of pioneer managed to do mm. time and time again is just present an insane value for money yeah um that most other brands just aren't even able to compete with so like if any of you are um, passionate about japan as well like myself then let us know in the comments below it'd be pretty interesting again if you have any watches that you think that are inspired by different cultures and things like that then let us know because i'm sure there's yeah, some out there to know and yeah definitely the, the stories behind why some of you have bought your watches as well it's yeah i think that's the most interesting hear, thing yeah. really isn't it so yeah. yeah definitely thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video